Marvel Studios' Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania had their red carpet event and it was star-studded. From Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, Michael Douglas, and of course, Jonathan Majors, the event was absolutely packed with stars from the upcoming movie. And with the red carpet event, of course, comes full reaction and thoughts coming via social media. Here's what some of them thought about Marvel's upcoming blockbuster film. One thing you'll notice in these reviews is a reoccurring theme of how everyone thought that Jonathan Majors absolutely crushed it as Kang the Conqueror. So here we go, as Eric Davis says that Phase 5 has begun. The new Ant-Man movie is like a psychedelic roller coaster full of frightening and hilarious oddities plus one very menacing Kang. Big Star Wars vibes meet the MCU at its freakiest and most inventive. MODOK is a riot, but Jonathan Majors conquers. Love the ride. Biko Cangiano says Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is the best of the trilogy. Higher stakes, dangers, and repercussions. It's also got one of the best MCU villains in Kang. As soon as Jonathan Majors comes in, it's his show. Kang is a scary, lean, mean, multiverse big baddie. Also, two cool post credit scenes as well. Brian David says there comes a point where every franchise has to get weird, and the MCU has done just that with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Like all of his other roles, Jonathan Majors remains endlessly compelling. Dempsey Pilot says had a blast with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, Paul Rudd has never been better, and Jonathan Majors effortlessly conquers every second of screen time he gets. But the real star of the film is Jeff Loveness' script, a reminder of how beautifully strange and mysterious the MCU still is. A somewhat mixed review of how I viewed it, Courtney Howard had this to say, After a frustratingly rough act one, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania finally gets going, only to end where this story should have began. While the external stakes are clear and weighty, emotional drive felt slight and levity even lighter. That said, Jonathan Majors still rules. Geek Vibe Nations absolutely raved about Jonathan Majors as Kang, basically saying that he's more menacing than Thanos. Thanos was the appetizer while Jonathan Majors, Kang the Conqueror, is the main course. Majors plays Kang with brilliance and confidence, a menacing and cunning villain with a hint of charm. Kang dominates physically and mentally. More rave reviews from Nora Dominic on Jonathan Majors who said that he is a force in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. He's compelling, chilling, and already giving a top-notch performance. I love the complexity he brings to Kang with literally a single look. The MCU really won with this casting. Adabe TV had this to say about Jonathan Majors and the Ant-Man franchise saying that Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania has two very important aspects. They lowered the jokes times 20, and Jonathan Majors is incredible as Kang the Conqueror. Kang is the villain that the MCU really needed. Thank you, Majors, for elevating my expectations. Phase 5 looks promising. And finally, Shabazz the Movie Podcast had this constructive criticism to say about the film. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania shows us that Kang is here to dominate. Jonathan Majors is a threat that will hopefully shake the core of the MCU. It works best when the team is together, but pacing and story suffer when they're apart. Wish this stuck with me more. So there it is guys, and as you can see, this looks like it's going to be a phenomenal movie by and large, as Jonathan Majors is basically going to be dominating anytime he's on screen, which really shouldn't come to any surprise by any stretch of the imagination. He's a phenomenal actor, he nailed it as he who remains in Loki, and while Kang has a completely different personality, I had no doubts that he was going to nail this role. I'll take the constructive criticism that I saw with a grain of salt and hope for the best, but by and large, it looks like Kang is going to hold it down for this film. I hope you guys found these mini reviews valuable for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. If you did, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel, as that's the kind of value you can come to expect on this channel day in and day out. We had such a blast watching that Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania red carpet event. If you happen to miss it, don't worry, you can go ahead and check it out right here in this video, as the entire event can be replayed and watched right here on the channel with my full reaction. There's plenty more Ant-Man and the Wasp content on the channel as well, so definitely be sure to check it out. I'm your host, A to the P, Albert Perkins, and we will see you in the next one. Until then, and as always, peace! 
Scott, you have a chance to be the hero and earn that look in your daughter's eyes. When he came back, everything changed. The doorway to the quantum realm has opened. You've made me an Avenger. But the hell is your league, Ant-Man? This place, it changes you. It made a monster who thinks he's a god. I don't care who this guy is. We're gonna go home. We'll stop him together. You think you can beat me? I am king! You ready? Ready. Marvel Studios' Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Momentum, right? Jump, tap. You see what I did? No. You're like this small. Ready PG-13. Get tickets now.